gonna make this a little longer. What's up, Lise? Trying on a new jacket because the other one is too tight with all the layers and I'm tired of having restricted breath when I'm riding. <laughs> So this time I'm wearing my like furry Uniqlo. We'll see if it's warm, just as warm, but I also have two other layers underneath, so. We're banging the cat scales. Long time no see. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, my hands are cold. How does it feel to be back on the bike? It's amazing. It's been a pretty cold winter. So we didn't we haven't been biking as much as last winter. So yeah, we kind of snowing. That's true, yeah. Even this, you know, you can see that there's like a lot of salt or like salt residue. Those are what? Dirty snow, right? On the oh. Yeah, dirty snow on the side of the road. So yeah. Oh well. Whew. Are we getting too warm? Not bad, right? Not bad. Yeah. yeah. The lake is still frozen. You want to go out in it? <laughs> I don't know, really. I can hear them cracking. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and it's very slippery. Especially with my cleats. Yep. I don't know if I want to. Care careful, Bon. Hey! We have a 30 mile bike ride. I know. I did it! <laughs> That's it. You want to do it as well? Mm. No. Okay, this I see too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Are you okay? Is it yeah. wet? Yeah. Oh no. There oh shit. This is awesome. <laughs> I planned a 29 mile or 30 mile bike ride, but we'll see. We'll see if we can do this. I think we can. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Ready. Yeah. Yeah, this is awesome. Really, really awesome. <sighs> so pretty. Yeah, we really missed this. Wind is intense. We missed this. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> No hands. Oh, the wind. The wind is pretty strong. Uh, it is the mountains. Such a beautiful area. I really miss this. Biking in the mountains. It's just. Yeah, it's been a while. And you know what? If you guys like our content, why don't you, you know, subscribe and like us on YouTube. Or, you know, you can also follow us on Instagram. Alright? Dang. Dang. It's like 12% gradient. Oh. What's up, Lee? Just taking a little break. Uh, man, there's a lot of climb. I think in total... In the end, we might reach like 2200 feet of elevation. As of now, it's been, you know, a thousand feet of elevation. So it's like a thousand more. <sighs> Man. So 
far so good? Yeah, so far so good. Okay, nice, we turn left here. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh no, road closed. Apparently, part of the road is collapsed. But you know, the good thing is, this road is closed for cars, so we're happy about it. Oh. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> These mountains. Like, if you guys can tell us, like, how do we start moving through Catskills or Adirondacks, you know, to the mountains? By land, by farm, and then start farming, I guess. We can have a little some chickens. We can start with some chickens. Lots of fruits and veggies. Yeah. And then, yeah, that's how you start. We're like city people who are in love with the mountains, so. It's just a healthier way of life. I don't know, I just, it just makes you feel more relaxed. You don't have to deal with the stress of the city. Mm. You can just enjoy each other's company and Good thing we actually like each other's company. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just a bit over halfway. We have between 12 and 14 miles left. We're not exactly short, but a little less. We're more, we're more than halfway. Ooh. So the last bit of the route actually forces us to you know ride with the cars but you know at least the shoulder is pretty big so we feel pretty safe it's just that you know the climb i mean it is the mountains after all so we just stopped a bit at a gas station here's the restroom and we're gonna continue with the next six miles Uh, hill. So you see that on the screen? So that's the elevation that we have to take. Like that's the remaining elevation. Let me see. Here. Whoa. I really love this feature of Karoo because it gives you like an estimate what kind of elevation that you're gonna face. One day we're gonna do Dirty Kanza, right Liz? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, what's up, what's up? I mean, you're decent speed. <laughs> I like to go slow pace up hills. Yeah, that's fine. Man, cat skills. We love you, cat skills. So, this is what we want a house in the mountains. We did it. Was that one of the higher elevation ones that we've done? I think so, yeah. So we started the ride here. We parked the car at Mountaintop Arboretum and then did a ride and come back here. Apparently it's like a really nice park. I'm sure it's also nice in the spring, so we might come back here because there are, you know, like hiking paths. All right. All right. Hello. Hey. <laughs> so yeah, that's our ride. Lisa is trying to hold the camera now because, uh, you know, I changed the lens. Anyway, we did 29 miles. It wasn't 30 miles. It's um, around 2,400 feet of elevation, and it's I can't remember how how many hours. About three. About three hours, three. yeah. But yeah, it was it was a great ride. What do you think? I loved it. I just love it here. We're gonna move here. <laughs> <laughs> final final decision. No, it was just really nice. I was hoping to have a ride like this, just being out in nature, so meditative and like. I don't know, it's just something about riding through the mountains that just feels like really amazing. Even if it's yeah. hard, like I'm like, oh, you know, it's, yeah. it's really fun. And this, the way the sun hits you when you're yeah. riding in different spots, it's really cool. 
So yeah, I loved it. We're gonna, you know, we have two hour drive, two hour, two hour drive, I think, yeah. back home to New York City and uh, we probably get, I don't know, some lunch. Uh, no, dinner probably around here. Apparently there's like a nice town area. So, you know, I know this is weird. Like you see her and then you see me and then, you know, we're, we're trying it out, okay? Thanks so much for following guys. And, you know, as always, please subscribe, please like, please follow our, our Instagram if you're willing. Of course you're willing, right? Anyway, all right. Thanks so much, bye-bye. Mark Crockett thinks there's a reason beyond our own personal motivations. It has to do with the business models of social media platforms uh, and broadcast outlets. Yeah.